Hi guys, so we're back with another review. This time we've got two from Vaporound. Here we go. Oh, Christ. Get the bottles right. There we go. We've got two from Vaporound. We've got Berry Ice and we've got Toffachino. So I think we'll start with the um, Berry Ice. These are both zero milligram. Um, all the ratios and nick availabilities are over there. So yeah, we'll start with that. What well, we can have it on a little bit of a change from the norm, but apart from the RDA, the RDA is the same. So I've got the Magma on RDA on the top with a lovely Vince's tip on the top, and I've got my little battered, bless it, mini vault, which I decided to polish the other day. It's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but I think it looks spiffing. So freshly whipped, we'll drop some juice on. Drop a little bit of juice on there. We'll see what it tastes like, shall we? Just give it a little bit of a burn off. Dooby dooby doo. There we go. Nice and nice single coil as usual, 0.5. In fact, it's the same coil I've had in here for ages. I use the same coil over and over again, it's been faultless. So let's have a vape. Start off with Berry Ice. There we go. Now with it called berry ice and the fact that the bottle was blue, I thought I'd get a bit more blueberry than that. Right, there is a little bit of a menthol hit to it, but I think it's more of a coolada, or they've used a very, very tiny amount of uh, menthol because it's not blowing my throat out. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, To me it tastes more like mint. Let's close the airflow off a bit, get a bit more flavour on the go in there, a little more heat on the coil. I think that's the right side. Yep. There is a little bit of blueberry coming through there. Very, very small amount. But to me. Up front, you've got like a fresh mint flavour. You like like you you like mint sauce, fresh mint, you know, li green leaves rather than uh, peppermint or a spearmint. Very nice. Very refreshing. There is a tiny bit of menthol. It's, I think it's menthol rather than coulada because I'm getting that menthol little zing. Because coulada doesn't give you that menthol zing. It, it tastes more like menthol. Uh, it might have a little bit of menthol and a little bit of coulada in it. There is a bit of um, a blueberry aftertaste but it's very, very minimal. I say most of it I get, it even smells blueberry. Because you can smell it, you can get a mixed blueberry flavour. Like um, a, a cross between what well, you get a blueberry muffin, um, fresh blueberry, and a sweet blueberry, like you get in a sweet. Very, like a very, very twinge of that. But mainly I get like a minty, a minty menthol. Almost like what you get in a, you know, if you, get, if you bought a mojito, you get that minty taste, don't you, in a mojito. Very much like that. Have another drip just to try a bit more there. Oh, just dribbled all the way down the side of my mod. That was clever, James. Give that a quick wipe. Yep. Not one cleaned this as well. <laughs> Always the way. We'll have another go. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a, a little blueberry hint. menthol and mint blast at the front with a sweet blueberry in the background on the exhale you 
Yeah, that's lovely. So, as I was saying, fresh mint followed with a menthol blast. Only a very, very minimal menthol blast. With the tiniest, tiniest tint of blueberry in the background. It's quite nice. So we'll rewick it and we'll get on to Toffachino. And we're back after a fresh rewick. We are on Toffachino from Vaporound. So we're back on that. So let's have a little taste, shall we? What a smell of that. For a vape it, let's have a little sneaky smell. Caramel. <coughs> Caramel and coffee. Twenty five watts. Straight away, cappuccino y, very rich coffee. A little bit of caramel sweetness in, in there as well. Or is it caramel? There's a bit of brown sugar in there as well, I think. Maybe they put uh, brown sugar with the cat uh, with the toffee or uh, with the caramel to get a toffee, if you know what I mean. There's something in the background and I'm trying to place it. It's getting dry. There's something else in there. Hovering about with the coffee and the um, the caramelly toffee flavour. Hazelnut. Little drop of hazelnut. Now this one is quite nice, but. I don't know if it's just me, but there's a slight chemical aftertaste. <laughs> you get it as it comes, pardon me. You get it as it comes in, very, very minimal, and then on the exhale, it's just there. But it's not unpleasant. It's a toffee caramel, toffee slash caramel cappuccino coffee flavour with a little bit of hazelnut in there. Hmm. I don't think I could vape it all day. The very ice one I could vape all day. It's very refreshing. This would be nice with like a donut and your breakfast or something I think. Vape pairings. Good stuff. So there we go. That was a cappuccino coffee flavour with toffee slash caramel and a hint of hazelnut why the hell not why the hell not right so let's get on to pricing pricing let's just have a look at the website uh, there is a website called vaporgallery.com these I got from expo the vapor uh, vapor round um, <coughs> pardon me the vapor round um, stall there I got them from there big thanks to the guys there and yeah so there so the only place I found them uh, was Vapor Gallery, and they are seventeen pounds for thirty mil, which is a little bit, mm, you know. Some people go oh, that could be expensive, or something. But as a treat vape, why the hell not, you know? Um, like I said, these ones that I've had have been zero milligram, uh, seventy thirty, which is what they come in. Uh, as usual, links will be down below. I'll also put the links in for Vince's tips because the man's a legend and he makes beautiful tips. So. I shall catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta-da now.